What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. This one's going to be about tattoos. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about, you know, is tattoos a sin? Can I get a tattoo? Um, and I'm going to go over scriptures and what the Bible says. And, you know, some people try to justify tattoos because, you know, I'm putting um, Jesus, which the Jesus they're putting on their, their body is not how he looked like. Uh, or they're putting Bible verses, Psalms. 18 something you know like um is that okay to do you know i'm getting a tattoo i'm getting a tattoo of a cross um you know can i represent god by getting tattoos and the answer is no you cannot get tattoos uh, this is what the bible says in leviticus chapter 19 verse 20 it says you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead nor print any marks upon you i am the lord okay so Back in the days, I'm talking about thousands of years ago. Well, there's nothing new under the sun, so it's even happening today. Uh, they would get tattoos in reference of their uh, their gods. And like I said, I was talking about earlier how um, the Jesus that you see is not it's not Jesus Christ. It's uh, Caesar Borgia, uh, the Pope's son. And that's like one of the biggest deceptions, how the, they portray how Christ looked like. And now no one knows exactly how he looks like, but in Revelations, it talks about a description in, in chapter one, um, you know, description of how you look like. But even then, like still, you can, no one knows exactly how you look like. So it's not wise to get a Jesus tattoo on you or even a cross, even a Bible verse. Listen, if you want to see the cross or a Bible verse, uh, why don't you put it in your heart? Like, stop focusing on the outside appearance. Stop focusing on outside stuff. Like, it should be inside you, your spirit, your soul, your heart. You know, that's why the Bible says to meditate. You shouldn't meditate on a tattoo. You know, let's just keep it real. You shouldn't be meditating on a tattoo Bible verse. You should. It should be in your heart. And that's the problem with most people is that they're carnal-minded. They're not spiritually-minded. So, um, yes, that's a Bible verse. A lot of people have been asking me that. I haven't made a video on that. It's just a short video. But you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you, I am the Lord. I personally believe certain tattoos open up portals, especially if you have like the Buddha ta tattoo, um, you know, stuff like that. Also, um, I would recommend, I know it's expensive in certain places to remove them, to remove the tattoos. I know it's expensive, but um, if you can't afford it, if you can't, then, you know, just don't get any more. If you have tattoos right now, Oh, I'm glad I'm saying this because someone's going to say that in the comments. So just, yeah, repent and don't get any more. Simple as that. Um, a lot of us, we did things war in, in, we, when we were in the world and we didn't have the knowledge of the truth. We didn't know the Bible. We didn't know what God's laws were. Now we do. So now we, that's why he wants us to repent and don't do those things no more. I, let me do a quick story real quick. <laughs> so I don't have no tattoos, but I remember back when I was 20 or 21, I had a friend group and we all wanted to get like matching tattoos. And um, we were so close to getting them. I forgot what happened. We were actually, we were in Denver. I was visit we were visiting our friend over there. And I think the store closed or something like that. So we actually didn't have, it was gonna be on our hand. And I'm so glad I didn't get that tattoo because I'm not, I'm not, I don't talk to any of them no more. I don't even know what any of them are doing. One of them still follows me on YouTube, but the other two, I don't know what they're doing. And um, a lot of the stuff we do when we're younger, like we, we, get older and realize it was stupid. I know a lot of people who got tattoos when they're younger, like high school or like, you know, college years and they get older and they're in regret. So, um, it's just, even if we put the religious stuff to the side, like most people who get tattoos are, they have in regret. And one thing I noticed about women who have tattoos, it's a symbolism of them being prosecuted, uh, pers communicus. I'm probably saying that wrong. Pretty much means that they're sexually liberated. And um, that's one thing I noticed. The more tattoos a woman has, um, it could be men too, for sure. The more tattoos someone has, they're more damaged inside, you know? So um, that's very true, you know? That's one thing I noticed in life, what I've seen under the sun. And like I was saying how there is nothing new under the sun. They were getting tattoos back then to rep their God, you know, the false gods. But even though we, we know who the Most High is, he doesn't want us to get tattoos of the cross of Jesus or, you know, quote unquote, Jesus of a Bible scripture um, of God. I love God or, you know, stuff like that. We don't need to do that. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys already have tattoos, simple, repent and don't get it no more. If you can't afford it, 
uh, if you can't afford it, um, I would I would recommend to get them removed. That's what I would do if I was in that situation. But I love you guys so much if you made it this far. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. This is my backup channel, and I'm gonna be start making more videos on this page, more shorter videos and uh, more live streams. So yeah, hope you guys have a blessed Sabbath. I'm out. Peace.